big up yourself and subscribe to this channel watch like and share the videos oh and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified The gun is off for the boys' one, men's 100 meters. Jules, Huggins, and Farina. And that's Farina out front, running smart, strongly to the finish. Trinidad and Tobago. Jonathan Farina taking the win. 10.46 on the clock, unofficially. Huggins coming in second. 10.77. And Jones taking third with a time of 10.93. That's your times for that first round of the boys, the men's 100 meters. Seven. Race off to a clean start. Again, Gravera two, Paris three, Caitlin four, Francis and five, Williamson six, Roll seven and four eight on the back stretch, running at the middle of the track. That looks like Jamaica's Javon Francis and Grenada Brella Taplin. Coming off the top of the 200, Taplin and Francis, Grenada and Jamaica running out front. Running one and two, 31 on the clock. As they come down the straightaway, that looks like lane number four. Braylon Taplin of Grenada and Javon Francis of Jamaica leaving it all on the track. 45.96 unofficially on the clock. We'll wait for the official time. Javon Francis of Jamaica taking it in 45.91. Taplin taking second of Grenada, 46.01. Francis coming in third. Know that Francis takes first. Taplin in second, Keep a pace with the latest track and field news from Jamaica, across the Caribbean, and around the world. It's trackalerts.com. There is just no other. Up to the minute details, expert views, reviews, and interviews in photos, videos, and features. Track alerts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Track Alerts TV on YouTube. Trackalerts.com. From start to finish. I'm um, satisfied, dissatisfied, are you? <laughs> well, every time I go on the track, I always satisfy, you know. Um, today was a great lineup. Let's come and execute the race and stuff. So I feel good about my time. I have nothing to worry about. I'm just glad that I stay injury free and stay healthy. That's all matter to me.
runway again, over at the triple jump, that's Nicole Cauley, representing the Bahamas. Big jump again, right flat for Cauley. Today's performance um, for you, um, not 16 meters or more that you would want to get, um, talk about your performance. Uh, my my performance for today was it was exceptional. Um, I had a long season, so I kind of broke down my season after Peru just to give me like an off-season pace. So I, today I went from a shorter approach to like pick things back up because World Championships is the end of September, so I want to slowly pick myself back up. But today went pretty good. I just worked on my technique, my hop and step, my run, all of that stuff was good. Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, USA, all lined up in this final. On your marks. So. Clean start for this finals of the women's 100 meters out early on the outside. That is Duranj and Morrison. Morrison running strong at the middle of the track, crossing the line out of lane number six, representing Jamaica 11:38, unofficially on the clock. Morrison takes the win 11:33 officially. Durant takes second, 11.48. Thomas collecting the bronze, 11.59. Hack it. Talk about your performance in, in such a hot, hot, hot um, condition here in Nassau. Um, I would say it is a bad. Um, it is a bad day because sometimes in Jamaica I have to train in the boiling sun like this. So I just come out here and just um, I just come out here and do my best. Keep a pace with the latest track and field news from Jamaica, across the Caribbean, and around the world. It's trackalerts.com. There is just no other. Up-to-the-minute details, expert views, reviews, and interviews in photos, videos, and features. Track Alerts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Track Alerts TV on YouTube. Trackalerts.com. From start to finish. On your box. Start of the men's 100 meters. Gun is off for the finals of the men's 100 meters. Johnson, Huggins, Farina, Jones out early. That's 8-4, 8, four, eight Johnson, Farina. He crosses the line unofficially. Rock at 10.35, we'll wait for the official time. Farina takes the win. 10.33 second goes to Farina. Johnson takes second. 10.55. 
Huggins, third. 10.62 seconds. Just talk a little bit about your race here um, today. Um, and are you used to running this time of the day? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it was kind of, it was kind of surprising to me. I mean, I was expecting the meet to be a little bit later in the evening. I mean, but despite the conditions, I mean, I think it was a fair enough effort. 10:33 since my last performance in July, around 10:23. So I mean, I'm still seeing the progress despite the conditions. Jeffrey Gibson, you're a Bahamian national record holder, and CJ Allen, USA, both men, time over the first hurdle. They're chasing a time of 49.30 seconds, running neck and neck at hurdle number three. Hurdle number four, Jeffrey Gibson. If it's like CJ Allen has a slight lead on the inside. Both men running very strong. Hurdle number six, CJ Allen, USA, he's running and of Gibson, the Bahamian national record holder. Again, both men chasing the time of 49.30 seconds. CJ Allen running very strong as he comes down to finish. Allen, all the way to the finish. He's your winner, Jeffrey Gibson, coming in second. 50-13 unofficially on the clock. Allen takes the win with 50.14 seconds, and Gibson comes in second, 52.07 seconds. That completes the finals of the men's 400 meter hurdles. Um, Jeffrey Gibson, um, talk about your out in here today. Um, how satisfied, dissatisfied are you? I was, <laughs> I normally don't say I'm dissatisfied with a race, but I wasn't pleased with this one, and I wasn't pleased with my performance. I felt that I could have done much better, but I think um, mentally I kind of was off put with the coming storm. I kind of was indecisive or unsure of whether the meet would happen or not. So, you know, sometimes you lock in, ready to prepare, go through a routine, and something like this, you know, misinformation or not being sure about different stuff could lead you to be confused or throw you off your game. Seven. Gun is off for the finals of the women's 200 meters. Durant, Akit, and Thomas. Out front on the outside, that is Rath Thomas. TNT, one, two, and three. Coming off the top of the track, that's lane four. Kamaria Durant, and on the outside, Rhea Thomas. Durant running smoothly to the finish. She crosses the line as your winner. Hackett not finishing. <laughs> Durant finishing with a time of 23.69 seconds. Thomas taking second, 24.20. So welcome to the Bahamas. Hi, thanks. Is it your first trip? No, this is about my third trip. Yeah? Fourth trip, okay. about fourth. Talk, okay. talk about your preparation for the 2019 track and field season. Um, it has been going good. Um, 
been doing, did much better this year than last season. So I'm very, very happy with so far with the progress. All right. Um, you're here at the, you're here at the uh, Broom Island Track and Classic. Any expectations coming in, coming into the, um, the meet before you ran? Um, just to run faster than my season's best because I already ran the qualifying time at Champs. But I just want, wanted to get faster time this time wrong, but didn't happen. Wind was kind of strong, didn't expect that. But other way, otherwise, it's good I still got to run before Doha. Keep a pace with the latest track and field news from Jamaica, across the Caribbean, and around the world. It's trackalerts.com. There is just no other. Up to the minute details, expert views, reviews, and interviews in photos, videos, and features. Track Alerts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Track Alerts TV on YouTube. Trackalerts.com from start to finish. Seven. They're off. This is a clean start for the men's final of the open men's 200 meters out front early. That is to race fit of the Mohammed at the middle of the track. Trinidad and Tobago, I'll grow, running very strong on the outside. That is to race Smith. Gun is off for the finals of the women's 4 by 100 meter relay, TNT and Bahamas Customs. TNT already closing out the stagger on the lane. Bahamas Customs not holding back, they're off. And TNT on the back stretch, running very strong. Bahamas Customs trialing, and they're not playing at all, right on their heels. Bahamas Customs, Team TNT, they're out there. Running really strong, Bahamas Customs right on their heels. Yes! And Pronto bringing it to Bahamas. TNT, all oh, good exchanges all the way to the finish. What will be that time? Bahamas Customs right on their heels. She's coming! And crossing the line, 45.29 unofficially. Goes to TNT. Let's clap in. Team Bahamas Customs. Never giving up all the way to the finish. They were right on their heels. Awesome running by Team Customs. McDonald, Hall, Sands, and Turnquest. Awesome running, young ladies. And we appreciate you showing up. Way to go. Team Bahamas Customs, we want to congratulate. TNT, awesome running. And we also want to tell Team Customs, you just ran against Olympians, so you are awesome here at this fourth Blue Mallet Track Classic. Never scared, we ain't never scared. Running very strong, 
I need is all on the backstretch by the cues. That is Dwayne running the second leg at exchange number two. It is Vince. Vince taking in the baton for the cues. Customs running right on them. He is coming. He's right there. Will he get him? Will he get him? Final exchange goes to the cues. Darren, Darren finishing up for the cues. Finishing for the Customs team. Grant, and here they come. Darren crossing the line for the cues. The Greeks take the four by one, and here comes Grant all the way to the finish. Congratulations to both teams. Finishing the cues and the customs. And to our spectators, 50.03 on the clock for Bahamas customs. For the cues, 54.39. 54.39 goes to the winner. We want to thank all of our spectators here at this fourth annual Blue Marlin Track Classic. All of our spectators, our participants, our volunteers, Baco Tech Team, our athletes from Belize, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, Montserrat. We appreciate your participation here. Team Bahamas Customs, great running by a group of ladies and young men. And to the Qs, the winners in the 4x1, congratulations. Team TNT, all the best in Doha. And this is a wrap. We will again, we want to thank our sponsors. JISM Global Sun Integrated Management, Seagrape, Runners Limited, Makeup Frenzy, and the Network Security Consultant Group, NSCG, for making this fourth Blue Marlin Track Classic a success here at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Until next year, see you then. We're here at the conclusion of the Blue Marlin Track and Field Classic 2019. Congratulations on, a, uh, on, your, on your classic this year. Thank you. Uh, we just want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting the meet. Uh, we'd like to thank all international athletes from Trinidad, USA, uh, Grenada, uh, Belize, and um, St. Vincent and Gren Grenadine. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming out and supporting the meet. All right. Talk, talk a little bit about the, the, just the planning of uh, this last, last chance meet to qualify for world championships. How, how, how has it been for you over the years? Well, um, it, every year brings a different dynamic. You know, um, the last time we, we did it, we was in Freeport and we took the meet on the road uh, to Grand Bahama. This year, you know, um, um, you know, straight across the news is out there, Hurricane Dorian is here, but then we had to still fulfill the meet, that obligation, because we had athletes come in. So, I mean, each year, you know, it's, it's kind of, I wouldn't say challenging, but it brings its own element. So now we have something to remember that, hey, um, a hurricane was on the way in Vienna. The organizers, we got together and adjusted the time, and the conditions were perfect. All right. Talk about the overall performances after said and done now. Uh, you've had all these, all these artists from all the various countries running the various events. What comes to mind now after you look at the performances? Uh, after looking at the performance, I look at um, the 400 meters um, with, with Javon Francis. I think he was trying to push to um, a faster time, but you know the conditions were, were there, and he ran uh, 45, I think 90. But um, you know um, he he's, he was pretty pleased. I, I spoke to him after the race, and we were talking about um, the conditions. He said, "Hey, he loved it." And then the thing is, the good thing about it is, 90% of these athletes want to come back next year to the to the um, Olympic year. They want to come back. They they assure me that hey, they don't mind coming back. Um, how far in terms of you know, in terms of other countries who um, will probably not be here but express interest? How, how how far the reach is in terms of persons having an interest in your meet? Well, I had um, Ghana Federation. Um, they were kind of skeptical with the with the storm coming. I had them reach out to me. A um, hundred meter sprinter wanted to come down. I had um, Dominican Republic. Two sprinters wanted to come down. And yes, I was just getting calls all week from agents. Um, I, I think representatives calling me about uh, bringing the athletes to the meet because what they said the same thing what I what I what I what I knew from a little while back was getting into Europe is pretty tough so you want to give the athlete hey options you have you have um, Europe and you have uh, meets on this side of the world they can compete in. After said and done, I, I'm I'm not quite sure you had any qualifiers anyone who would have ran the standard at this meet, huh? No, we didn't have any qualifiers, but the good thing about it, we had Kendall Williams. Um, she'll be competing in the heptathlete, heptathlon at our Worlds, so she got a little tune up. And we had the Trinidad team, who's ranked um, 4 by one woman, who are ranked 10 in the world. They got a little tune up. 
So we have other athletes who, who are in the hundred. They are going on. They're going to the worlds, but they said that hey, it gives them a chance to see where they're at in training. All right. What should we expect going into the Olympic year, 2020? Well, 2020, um, we might change it a little bit from being a large chance to invitational, but I'm um, trying to get some meet promoters together where we could do almost like a track series. Where uh, a track series meaning that you could have um, a meet in one location, um, house the athlete, and then um, um, uh, you bring them to this location. So it's all about um, funding, trying to get all the stuff uh, situated. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you.